Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Jinju Lo with 796 rating versus Lucas Lancelot with 1455 rating. So this is going to be a new format video, and with that being said, let's hop right in. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Jinju Lo win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they're going to go first. 43 versus 42. Opening hands, we have carrot, red, freezing, tip, freezing. They have smashers, instant fusion, desires, nasty, and jet. Okay, so... Neither player opened up like a going second card. I guess like these these are kind of going second card. Um, so then they're gonna activate to special summon, and then effects. So they're playing sprite runic new format. Discard go search fountain. Then special carrot special red activate fountain activate tip. Tip's gonna go search slumber. And then they're gonna banish Miri. Uh, fountain effect to put back and draw. And then draws triple slum. Like, oh my gosh, it's so unfortunate. Because if they draw, like, any other runic card, then they, like, you know, could overlay for Gigantic, activate the runic card, summon effect, discard, go search, and then you have, like, slumber that you could just activate afterwards, target Gigantic, make them banish three, fountain draw. Uh, maybe this will help out? Nope. Yeah, that's just so awkward. Make Gigantic, Gigantic Effect. I feel like I've been seeing this just a bunch on DB. Like we saw that one person the other day draw three flashing fires. Um, but they're going Gigantic out Ibli. Ibli's not bad. Ibli's definitely uh, pretty nice. I can't lie. Link off, make IP, because this is the whole combo right here. What'll happen is, is if you have this plus Smasher set up, then... If your opponent normal summons, you can smashers it away. If they switch to attack, battle phase, crash in the IP, main phase two, let's say they, I don't know, summon a body, like just quick instant fusion, summon out a body. You could be like, oh, I'll chain L or chain IP, chain elf, elf summon out Ibli, link off in the unicorn, and then I give you back Ibli. I think I messed that up saying like smashers away something I said smashers away red, but uh, obviously like different setups, different outcomes with this. Pass, draw jackalope, uh, and they're just gonna activate smashers and they could just banish the Ibli right off their board to banish elf, main phase, activate instant fusion. And then instant fusion, summons kit, kit effect, chain impermanent, activate desires, desires go banish to draw. So, banish 10, draws Gizmic, Planet, bro, you, you can't do anything against this. It's like they have Instant Fusion, Desires, Dangers, draws Gizmic, Planet. Let's see, maybe, maybe, what are the odds? No, this didn't, I was going to say, what are the odds? It's just like, banishes all of like two names. And then they have a chance. Activate Planet, Planet Go Search, uh, Planet Go Search Shaylin. Then activate to special summon uh, fountain and fusion. So they're gonna go search. Wait, okay. Because they're gonna go fusion chain link one, fountain chain link two. Draw freezing blue, go search fountain. Now we have blue in hand. We have, we have an imperm off of that now at least. Still doesn't seem the easiest to stay alive, but we can red tribute this off, negate a monster, IP link, we have an imperm. Hits the shale in there, draws Hafinus, oh, oh my gosh, there's just no winning, they tra even draw Hafinus off that, so they can chain Hafinus if they'd want to, but they're not going to because they want their dangers to keep going, and they still could use Hafinus later on. Hit Nessie off Nessie, Nessie goes search. And then activate the Chupacabra. And then Chupacabra will be sniped. Okay, effect, bring back Nessie. Snipes the dangers twice in a row. The first snipe never matters, because if they hit Nessie, that's actually good for you. But the second snipe, that's when it hurts a little bit. IP effect, chain Hafinus. Mill three, miss, make elf. Okay, I mean, elf can, I guess, summon back Ipera for a draw. So now they're going to try to go battle phase, elf, summon, feck, draw, econ. They're going to link off in the dark, dark effect. 
chain, make him banish. Is there ever a world where you actually just let your opponent go to battle phase there and you don't try to draw one just because you need to survive? And there's a chance that you don't survive if you let your opponent stay in main phase. They're going to make IP, make Zero Boros, Battle Phase, activate Gizmak. Uh, let's see, we have 23, 25, so this is 5,000 boost, 8,000 attack. Not quite... Oh, wait, I didn't think it was game. Was it... Was it game there? Um... Maybe at 5 times 2? No. Maybe... Maybe they weren't at 8,000. I don't know. Maybe they had another way to banish or something. I wish I could just go back two seconds, but... We have Swap Frog, Starter, Destruction, Tip, Imperm. They have Mystic Mind, Jet, Miri, Chupacabra, Nessie. Wait. Oh, we play Swap Frog? Last game we had... Enough... Bodies to go for elf double toad, right? I guess we wanted to Ibly them. But summon swap frog, swap frog effect, dump swap frog, starter bring out blue blue effect, go search jet, jet go search smashers, minus 1100. Destruction, special effect, discard imperm, go search fountain, and then overlay, make gigantic, gigantic effect, detach, go summon out Ibly. And then link off in the elf, pass over Ibly, elf effect, summon out swap frog, swap frog effect, bounce jet, overlay in the toad, activate fountain, activate tip, go search slumber, make them banish. Also, slumber can help out at making it so that way they can't crash Ibly or anything. Oh, that's why they searched it last time. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. That was like one of the reasons, obviously. It's like one that you could just activate at any point in time, but also because it protects this. Oh my gosh. Again. Bro, this player is so unlucky. Set, pass, draw foolish, standby phase. Oh, we're detaching. Do we summon dupe? Oh, we actually play dupe. Okay. Then they just submit defeat there. Going on into the next game, we are going to see Tear go first. Imperm, Flashing, Smashers, Tip, Fountain. Fountain plus Smashers, a bit awkward going second. Um, yeah, like, Fountain could definitely end up trading really well and end up drawing us three cards and be insane, but it could also just be kind of a liability where, like, it takes a card from our hand and then if they stop it, we don't get a lot of value out of our other cards. But we do have, like, Flashing Fire plus Tip, so we did draw, like, some of the good runics. Then they have Foolish, Gizmak, Nessie, Bigfoot, Super Poly. Main phase, set Foolish, set Super Poly 2. Activate Bigfoot. Bigfoot will get sniped here. Bye bye. Activate Nessie. And then hopefully Nessie gets sniped here. Oh, hit Gizmak, summon, draw on the Shaylin. Foolish, dump Rhino. Rhino effect, summon itself out. Discard Shaylin, Shaylin 1, Rhino 2, Rhino go down Miri. Put back Shaylin, put back Rhino, summon out Kekalos, Kekalos effect. And then they're going to chain Imperm on it, which also means that they kept Miri in Graveyard, but Kit will now be negated, so they can't summon it back anyways. Gizmic effect, go banish to summon. So banish 8, looking at those banishes, we see two Hofinas go down there and a Shaylin. Then bring out the Gizmic, link off, go for IP. Link off, go for elf, elf effects, summon back out Miri. Then Miri effect, mill three, hits Hofinus and Bigfoot there, so then they're gonna Hofinus effect, put back Hofinus, put back IP, summon out Mud Dragon, now link off into IP, yeah, okay, okay, and then. Pass turn, draw Econ. Oh, so Elf IP is not bad, especially with Miri and Graveyard. It's definitely like, you know, it's one of like the alternative end boards. Like if you get stopped, then you can go for this. Usually one Imperm doesn't do that to you, but 
Yeah, I did there. Flashing fire, target elf. Oh, they're deciding not to. Wouldn't you want to flash in fire? Oh, like flashing fire elf here seems crazy. Am I wrong? We're gonna go main phase. For what? Like, if you flash in fire elf, they can only IP if they gizmic, and they can only make. Oh, the only thing that would do anything is making another elf with the IP, and then elf summon out Miri. So maybe there's that, and that's why they decided not to do it. But that seems kind of dumb, especially because, like, Flashing Fire, Pop, Elf, Main Phase, Activate Fountain. Um, let's say they already have Gizmek on board. They already summon Gizmek during Standby Phase. Main Phase, Activate Fountain, They Chain IP, We Chain Tip. Tip goes search the Imperm, and then we can Imperm Elf. So then they still won't get anything there. Flashing Fire to Special. And then effect discard smashers, and then they're gonna put back the draw. Really? We're gonna put back the draw when we have tip? We could draw three. One instead of three? I don't know. At least two. You could easily draw two and go search an imperm. So we have like. I was gonna say, I guess we have another fountain. So. It's kind of fair enough. Yeah, it's kind of fair enough. We're trying to enter battle. Um, you're actually responding to this? I mean, okay. If your opponent says end of main and they have no battle phase, it means they're moving the end phase. I guess even then you still might want to elf summon Miri. Doesn't like chain the IP or anything. So. Oh, but we mill Miri Salik there. So, effects, so we're going to go search, grab Shaylin, and then put back Miri, put back Mud Dragon, never mind, not put back Mud Dragon, put back Kikalos, summon out the second Kikalos, Kikalos effect, and then they're going to go search Hafinas. Um, what, oh, okay, so Salik's going to search Hafinas. And then Kit is going to dump Shaylin. So they're just switching it up real quick. Put back Mud Dragon. Put back Shaylin. Summon out Dragos to Palea. And then activate Tip to go search. So that's going to go search for Freezing. Banish 1. Banish his Mystic Mind. Fountain to draw 1. They, so they show the multiple flashing fires. Uh, you're just unlucky. Like, as simple as that. This player is just really unlucky. Um... Uh, we will, I, okay, I was about to say, I want to see this player go first. So I'm happy that they're testing and they're letting them go first. We have Fountain, Flashing, Tip, Blue, Ibley, they have Jackalope, Gizmax, Smasher, Super Poly, Snake. So this is like after the match, a new match. I think we're just going to go over this first game. I just want to see how this deck could go first again. I'm, I'm honestly just interested. Uh... Oh, but then they chose to go first. Okay, well, let's just skip into the next game because they lost that game. So now we're going to get to see the Runic Sprite deck go first. And then... Alright, next game. There's another one? Okay. That was, was kind of... Well, I didn't know there was going to be another one or not. But on to the next one. Okay, now, there we go. Now we're going to get to see the Sprite Runic deck go first. I just want to see more of it. We got Red, Ipra, Tip, Jet, Blue. They have Jackalope, Rhino, Shaylin, Bigfoot, Desires. I think the deck's definitely slacking on hand traps, though, which they could definitely use. Summon effect the draw. That draws in the freezing. Summon blue. Blue effect. Go search red. This is full, full combo. Go search Smashers. Another Runic card over the red would have been nice, but... I'm getting a little bit picky at that point. Effect, discard, go search fountain. And then overlay, make gigantic. Gigantic effect, attach, go summon Ibli. And then link off, make elf, pass over the Ibli. And then link off, make IP, activate. This should also be in defense. Pretty sure it has to be in defense, yeah. Uh, activate tip. Tip, go search slumber, make him banish Nessie. And then we're going to get fountain effects, so put back. Draw. Did they only draw one? They just put back two, no? 
Um, added slumber, returned one, returned two, drew starter. Yup, so we misplayed on our draws. And so how do we get two red? The, I know we just elf summoned back, but for some reason, I feel like another red just came out of nowhere. Um, I'll pretend I didn't see that. But activate desires, go banish. Because I just want to see how well Ibley just like keeps working. Um, another thing though is like Droplet might be like really, really popular now. Like new ban list just because we don't have snow anymore. So in a tier mirror match... If one player ends on Dweller, then usually what would happen like a little while ago is it'd be like, oh, Dweller, Chainlink 1 during the standby phase, Chainlink 2, Droplet, Chainlink 3, Salic, Chainlink 4, Snow, Banish, Dweller, Dodge, Droplet, GG's. Now there's no Snow to dodge the Dweller out, so that might change up how people feel about that. Um, oh, right. We're just going to see them admit defeat. All right. Um... Yeah, so the Ibli is obviously performing pretty well. Um, might be at the something I test out again, because I tested that out a while ago, back probably like the first weekend that Sprite had came out. I was like, oh, this is the goo! Um, but yeah, I might have to try that out again. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder, signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.